Now I found a typing game in this old issue of Atari user dated September 1987. Um, I found one what I thought, which I thought would be pretty interesting to show. It is a very basic primitive game. Um, you know, it's uh, definitely nothing special. But the reason why I thought it would be interesting to show is because it was written with just five lines of code, which I didn't think uh, could be possible. But uh, there it is, it's Mini Pac-Man. And uh, with the Atari 8 bits you are limited to the amount of code that you can fit into each line. And the trick that this guy has used is to abbreviate some of the commands. So instead of typing in like graphics note for example, you can type in gr.note instead. So um, yeah, let's take a look at Mini Pac-Man. So this is the uh, the program that I typed in. When you start off you can choose uh, which level you want to go on from 1 to 9. So the, uh, the quotation mark is the ghost and the other thing that's moving about is Pac-Man. And the dots are represented with uh, full stops. The counter that you can see going up that's telling you how many dots you've eaten and there's 100 dots altogether. But yeah, I'm not sure if something like this could be done with such a small amount of code on most of the other old school computers or not. The game is quite tricky, even on uh, level 1. But on level 9 it's pretty much impossible. You, uh, you do control Pac-Man with the joystick. Uh, you know, you don't use the keyboard or anything. But surprisingly, believe it or not, I did actually find this to be uh, quite fun, really, for about six or seven minutes. I guess the challenge to this game, um, you know, like the actual aim, is to uh, is to just see what the highest level is that you can actually complete. But yeah, that's a uh, mini Pac-Man. I thought it would be interesting to show since it was a uh, since it was written with such a small amount of data. Um, I'll just leave you with the uh, footage. Thanks for watching.